Ever thought about what would happen if, like, two galaxies crashed into each other? Yeah. Not exactly something you see every day, huh? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> and get this, it's not even science fiction. I mean, this is happening, like, all the time out there in the universe. Seriously, these collisions, they're the universe's way of hitting the reset button, you know? Out with the old, in with the new. So today we're diving deep into galactic collisions. And we've got some pretty wild research to dig through. I mean, you ever just like stop and think like our planet, even our solar system, it's huge, right? It's almost impossible to grasp, yeah. But here's the thing, even our own galaxy, the Milky Way, it's on a collision course, like right now, as we're speaking. Yeah, in about 4 billion years or so, give or take, we're set to have a close encounter of the galactic kind with Andromeda. 4 billion years. Plenty of time to finish that crossword. Yeah. But seriously, how does something that big even get going? Like, galaxies are millions of light years apart. How do they even end up on a crash course like that? Gravity, it's not just like a good idea, it's the law, even on a cosmic scale. Right, right. And across those crazy distances, galaxies, they exert this pull on each other, this gravitational pull, and it sets this like, really, really slow dance in motion. A gravitational tug of war across right. millions of light years. Okay, that's cool. So as these galaxies get pulled closer and closer, what happens? I mean, when they start to get close. Close is a relative term when you're dealing with galaxies, but think of it this way. Imagine a couple of, I don't know, giant space octopuses hmm. reaching for each other across the void. Okay, I'm with you, space octopuses. And their tentacles, right. Those are the galaxy's outer regions, all those graceful spiral arms getting all twisted and stretched out of shape as they get closer. It's a mess, um, a beautiful mess. I love it. Cosmic dance-off. Uh -huh. But okay, here's the part that kind of freaks me out. Yeah. With all those stars like flying around, wouldn't they be smashing into each other? Yeah. Left and right? Yeah. Like a cosmic billiards game. It's a common thought. We call them collisions, but it's more nuanced. Stars are so ridiculously far apart within these galaxies, the actual head-on collisions, super rare. You've got a better chance of like two mosquitoes colliding in the Grand Canyon. Okay, so more of a cosmic near miss than a head-on collision. That makes me feel a little better about the whole thing, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> but the galaxies themselves are still gonna bump into each other, right? What happens when those structures actually meet? Oh, that's where things get really good. That's where the real show starts. Think cosmic fireworks, shock waves rippling through space, the birth of new stars. I mean, we're talking about a whole lot of excitement. It's like the grand finale of the universe. Okay, so we've got these giant galaxies slamming into each other. Where do the new stars come in? So picture this, you've got these massive clouds of gas and dust just kind of hanging out and right, like the raw materials for making stars. Right. Yeah. And when galaxies collide, all that gas and dust, it gets like squeezed together, like really, really hard. By the gravity of it all. Like, exactly. It's like, imagine taking a cosmic pressure cooker and cranking it up to 11. All that gas and dust, it heats up, gets incredibly dense. And then boom, new stars are born. Boom, exactly. We call these events starbursts. And they're, well, they live up to the name. Starburst, I like it. But we're not talking about your average everyday star formation here, are we? This is like next level stuff. Oh, absolutely. We're talking about stars being born at rates hundreds, even thousands of times faster than in a typical galaxy. Thousands of times faster, that's insane. So it's like the universe is just cranking out stars like crazy. Exactly, and get this, these aren't your average run-of-the-mill stars either. Oh, what do you mean? Well, the kind of environments we're talking about, these galactic collisions, they're extreme. And those extreme environments, they can lead to the formation of some of the most massive, most luminous stars in the universe. So not just more stars, but bigger, brighter stars. That's wild. Those stars must burn through their fuel pretty quickly though, right? They do. They live fast and die young, so to speak. But their grand finales, those are something else. Oh, what happens? supernova explosions. And when these massive stars go supernova, they seed the surrounding space with all the good stuff, the ingredients for planets, for life, even for you and me. Wait, so the carbon in my coffee, the oxygen I'm breathing, that all came from these ancient massive stars, the ones that were born from galactic collisions. That is wild. It's all connected. It's the grand cosmic cycle at work. But hold on, we're not done yet. We've talked about the stars, but there's another major player in these galactic collisions that we can't ignore. You mean the massive black holes at the center of these galaxies? Like, we save the best, or maybe the scariest, for last. Right. What happens when those things collide? I mean, come on, black holes colliding. Now that's something I gotta hear more about. It's like the ultimate heavyweight boxing match. Right. 
Except instead of a boxing ring, you've got the fabric of space-time. And these black holes, they're not just duking it out, they're warping reality around them with every move. Okay, so paint me a picture. What does that even look like? A black hole collision. Imagine these two supermassive black holes, each one billions of times heavier than our sun. And they're locked in this like gravitational dance, spiraling closer and closer. But as they do, they're like a cosmic vacuum cleaner. Sucking up everything around them. Stars, gas, dust, anything that gets too close, it's a cosmic buffet for these black hole behemoths. Okay, so the tension is building. You've got these black holes spiraling closer, gobbling up everything in sight. What happens when they finally meet? Is it like a giant explosion? It's even weirder than that. When supermassive black holes collide, they don't explode in the traditional sense. Instead, mm. they release this insane amount of energy in the form of gravitational waves. Gravitational waves, that was Einstein, right? He predicted that these waves would be created by like the most extreme events in the universe. Exactly. And what's amazing is that now we can actually detect these waves using incredibly precise instruments here on Earth. We're talking about ripples in space time created by events billions of light years away. It's mind blowing. So we can actually observe the after effects of these black hole collisions. We can, every time we detect these waves, it's like listening to the universe whisper secrets about these powerful events from the distant past. It's like getting a glimpse into the inner workings of the cosmos. That's incredible. Okay, so the black holes have merged. Gravitational waves are rippling out across the universe. What happens to the galaxy that was home to these, uh, these black holes? What does it look like after all that? Well, things start to settle down. The two galaxies, which were once separate, they start to merge together. It's a slow process, but eventually they become one giant blended galaxy. Often they end up with more of an elliptical shape, a little less structured than the spiral galaxies they once were. So all that chaos, the collisions, the starburst, it all leads to this new, bigger galaxy. And often, with an even bigger, supermassive black hole at its center. It's like the universe's way of hitting the refresh button, out with the old, in with the new. But it's not just about destruction, it's about creation too. Right, because those starbursts we talked about, they created the building blocks of everything we know. Exactly, think about it. The iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, even the carbon in that last breath you took, it all came from these incredible events billions of years ago. Wow. So we're all just like made of stardust, stardust that was forged in the heart of ancient galactic collisions. That is humbling. It really puts things in perspective, doesn't it? It really does. So to wrap things up, what are we left with? We're left with a universe that is constantly evolving, always changing, and we are, in a very real sense, a part of that grand cosmic story. We're at the sound of that. Well, on that note, that's it for today's deep dive to the wild world of galactic collisions. Thanks for listening.